Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a subcompact crossover SUV from Volkswagen, the T-Cross, and a pickup from Jeep, the all-new Gladiator. Plus, a future feature comparison of two pickups, the Ford Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 AT versus the Isuzu D-Max LSE 4x4 AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about a boost controller. And together with the latest news and developments of the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the Great Wall Motor Launch as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Volkswagen. This edition of Car Review takes a look at the Volkswagen T-Cross SE decked out for 2023. <laughs> Volkswagen Philippines started this year's campaign for the T-Cross by rolling out new colors, McKenna Turquoise, Pure White, and Moonstone Gray. In addition to Syringa Violet, Tribu Yellow, and Romance Red, the new colors are meant to emphasize VW's wish to paint the T-Cross as a subcompact crossover SUV for the hip and trendy crowd. The colors certainly succeed in making the T-Cross attractive to the younger and more dynamic generation. Nevertheless, at 4,218mm long, 1,760mm wide, and 1,599mm tall, and with a 2,651mm wheelbase, the T-Cross with less quirky colors can be described as elegantly handsome with straight sharp lines in profile. The front bumper, air dam, skid plate adds sporty to words that can describe the T-Cross. As do the roof rails, the front fog lamps with corner light function, the rear spoiler. For 2023, the T-Cross SE still features LED headlights but now with auto-on function. Also featured are daytime running lights, rear fog lamp, electric outside rear view mirrors with side turn lamps, panoramic sunroof, 17-inch alloy wheel strap by 20555R17 tires. The T-Cross SE is also equipped with the what Volkswagen calls the Cassie Entry Go system that allows one to get into and start the T-Cross with key fob in pocket. Volkswagen likes to point out that the T-Cross is a subcompact SUV with compact segment interior dimensions. The T-Cross cabin is certainly roomier than many of its competitors. The interior panel and trim is colored matched to the exterior which adds to the youthful appeal of the T-Cross. The seats in the SE use a combination of leather and fabric upholstery with stitching that also matches exterior colors. The front seats still adjust manually, six ways for the driver and four ways for the passenger. The rear seat bench folds to create more luggage space if necessary. The raised seat feels comfortable, especially with the well bolstered bucket seats up front. From the comfort of this raised bucket seat, the driver can get all the information he needs from the active info display that can be customized, as well as a good view of the road in front and around him. Also within view, front and center of the center of the dash is this 9.2 touchscreen display of the T-Cross infotainment system that comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and four speakers. The infotainment system can be controlled using hand gestures, as well as controls on the multi-functions steering wheel. In front are USB Type-A and Type-C portals for charging and Apple CarPlay connection. Type-in Type-C ports are available in the rear but only for charging devices. Other comfort and convenience features include air conditioning with pollen filter and rear vent. 
one touch up and down power windows and central door locking. Driving the T-Cross seems almost effortless, especially with the electronic power steering tuned for those who prefer light. The T-Cross is powered by a 1498cc 4-cylinder engine that generates 113 PS and 145 Nm of torque. A 6-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission with sport mode sends power and torque to the front wheels. Volkswagen claims the T-Cross can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 13.3 seconds. Top speed is placed at 185 km per hour. The T-Cross cabin is relatively quiet, riding on a suspension system using independent front McPherson struts and semi-independent composite torsion beams in the rear to absorb road imperfections. Stopping power comes from a brake system using this on all wheels, ventilated in the front, solid in the rear. The T-Cross also comes with passive and active driver assist technologies. These include anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, hill hold control, anti-slip regulation, and electronic stabilization program. Equipped for safety or driver in front passenger airbags, side airbags, head curtains, 3-point ELR seat belts, and ISOFIX tethers. Rear parking distance control and rear camera make it easier and safer to maneuver into narrow slots and crowded lots. Finally, the Volkswagen T-Cross also comes with a mobilizer and tire pressure monitor. There are more new colors that should make the Volkswagen T-Cross SE more attractive to the younger or even the older generation. The latest auto industry news and developments, right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track. And the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Living up to its billing as the biggest local test drive event, the 2023 Auto Focus Summer Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex drew thousands of visitors to the SM Mall of Asia concert grounds, which was held from May 4 to 7. Over the four days of the festival, which brought together the country's leading car manufacturers and distributors to display their best models and offer test drives, crowds arrived to check out and get behind the wheels of the latest vehicles in the market. Available for test drive at this year's summer festival were vehicles from Ford, GHC Motor, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and WM Motor. Despite the heat, 100 signed up for the drives daily on the test track laid out to showcase the ride and handling of their dream vehicles. Many opted to take out their choice rides for a road test on the busy streets at the SM Mall of Asia Complex to see what they feel like in real-life traffic situations. Caltex is very excited to be part of the Auto Focus Summer Test Drive this year. I think it's great that customers and future car buyers are able to test drive the best quality cars that are out there in the market today. And we at Caltex, we believe in quality, which is why Caltex with Tecron is perfect for these vehicles and the vehicles that you have at home. Caltex with Tecron has a cleaning ingredient that is scientifically proven to remove dirt and prevent deposits from building up in those critical parts of your engine. So with Caltex with Tecron, you can ensure that your car performs at its best so that you can get better fuel economy and you can always continue to enjoy your journey. So we invite you all to visit our Caltex stations. We would like you to try out our new products as well. Please download the Caltex Go so that you can enjoy Caltex Rewards where you can continue to enjoy more prizes and premiums for you. Team members from brands were busy over the four days of the festival to explain the features as well as the SRPs and financing options for respective lineups to visitors, many of whom came with families to enjoy the sights, sounds, and activities and freebies offered by participating automotive companies. The success of the festival is expected to help boost vehicle sales this summer.
Aizen, a major supplier of automotive parts to the world's leading automakers, including Toyota, Honda, and Volkswagen, plans to expand its foothold in the local market by bringing in more premium products. This was revealed by Managing Director of Aizen Asia and President of Aizen Asia Thailand, Yasuhiro Nakamura, at the annual dealers' convention held by its exclusive local distributor, Rikin Motor Sales Inc. So now Aizen uh, expanding the product right now. Before, uh, we are selling only clutch and the water pump. In five years, the, we launched the engine oil or uh, battery or filter or uh, kind of a uh, departmental store of uh, uh, automotive parts. Then uh, Riken uh, cooperated with us. Then they are selling the many e e items in Philippines. We expand more uh, product right now. Then also the, we go into the more uh, downstream, like uh, touch the end user. Now we are planning the uh, garage product project uh, in Philippine market. So we will go for more end user. This is our plan. The dealers convention held annually to recognize Rikens network of retailers of Aizen products featured an exhibition dubbed as Drive to the New Horizon, which showcased Aizen's most iconic products since its founding in the 1940s alongside current and future technologies. Oliver Ang, Rikens Motor President, reveals plans to launch more Aizen products this year. We are continually launching uh, new products. This year, we might be launching some new products like uh, batteries uh, and expanding our line or range of uh, filters, brake pads, and uh, all other, and other products as well. Also attending the convention was Keisuke Fukuda, Ice in Thailand Senior General Manager and Yuji Katsura, Advix Department Manager for Aftermarket Sector. We are going to launch another uh, steering and suspension items like a shock absorbers and like also uh, we're going to have a leaf spring uh, from Thailand. So uh, that will be uh, a quite new item uh, for the Philippine market. So our target is uh, to be the uh, world global uh, mega brake supplier. The all-new Lexus RZ450e battery electric sport utility vehicle has arrived on local shores. The Japanese automaker rolled out its entry to the local BEV or battery electric vehicle segment at its dealership in Bonifacio Global City. Today, we're here at the Lexus Manila showroom, and it is a very special day for all of us because Lexus Philippines is introducing its very first fully electric vehicle, and it is called the RZ450. The Lexus RZ 450E is built atop a dedicated battery electric platform that offers instantaneous power and a low center of gravity for an incredibly exhilarating drive. It boasts an exterior that ushers in a new Lexus aesthetic and establishes a new design direction for future electrified offerings. First and foremost, the RZ 450E is a Lexus and it promises everything from the craftsmanship and the technologies that Lexus was able to bring in all together with our experiences in terms of electrification. The RZ is powered by a 71.4 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery tag that drives the two electric motors, generating a combined output of 312 horsepower and 435 newton meters of torque. Lexus claims the RZ can travel around 450 kilometers on a single full charge. The RZ 450 is priced at 4.828 million pesos. So we would like to invite all of our Lexus guests, customers, and of course anybody who would be a fan of our move towards electrification, towards a more sustainable and carbon neutral future. We will be here at Lexus Manila here located at the Bonifacio Global City. Suzuki owners that gig in nearby areas now have a dealership and service center to help keep their sedans and SUVs in tip-top condition. Suzuki Auto the Gig, the first 3S dealership of Zoom Hub Inc., a member of the Auto Hub Group, sits on a 1,130 square meter lot along Levy B. Mariana Avenue in Barangay Ususan in the Gig. Uh, we're very proud to announce that uh, today is the launch of our Suzuki Tagig showroom here at the city of Tagig and uh, first in the area uh, in this side of town of Tagig and uh, we're very happy that uh, we're launching the Suzuki brand here. Our first satellite showroom was in BGC. You know? Satellite is a small showroom with two cars, two service bays. And the permanent facility or the big facility is actually here uh, in, in uh, Cayetano Avenue here in Taguig, uh, where all the villages are, where all the horizontal residential uh, facilities are. And uh, 
we have a bigger showroom, we have at least four car showroom and then at least eight service bays. So it's a big facility for the residents here. They don't have to go all the way to BGC. So we're very, very happy uh, and, and looking forward to have all the residents here to consider buying a Suzuki and servicing their cars here. According to Norihide Take, Suzuki Philippines Director and General Manager for Automobile, Suzuki Auto Tagig gives the brand a better access and formidable presence in the second most important business district in Metro Manila. As a Suzuki customer would know by now, uh, our uh, car a good uh, investment, uh, not only uh, because of essence and home, uh, but because of safety as well. We always make sure that our cars are safe, uh, easy to handle, and innovative and uh, fuel efficient. 2023 has been very busy for Suzuki Philippines. In fact, a few months ago, we were able to launch a new product. You know, we introduced Ertiga Hybrid to the market, and we are getting a very warm reception. Expect also a few openings of uh, new dealerships nationwide. Suzu Philippines Corp has come out with a new PUV Class 2 modern public utility vehicle, which was presented to the Department of Transportation and Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board at the LTFRB NCR office. Isuzu executives say the new design incorporates suggestions made from customers, including members of the Pasang Masda Jeepney Transport Service Corp. This new PUV design is a collaboration between uh, our customers and bodybuilders uh, then Monte Motors, and of course our uh, Pasang Masda who own our uh, PUV. The new Isuzu Class 2 PUV features two side doors for the driver and front passenger, redesigned panoramic windows, cushion seats, and luggage compartments for the convenience of passengers. The modern PUV also comes with a GPS unit, automated payment system, built-in monitor and digital signboards, among other standard features. In support to the PUV modernization program of the government, we are here today at LTFRB NCR office for the product presentation of newly designed Isuzu PUV Class 2. Yet another improved business solution. The new Isuzu PUV is a testament of our continuous commitment to improving the life of Filipino nationwide, especially in the field of transport. Isuzu promises to provide extensive after sales support to all buyers of its modern PUVs through its 48 outlets nationwide. We believe that the relationship with our clients it starts after the sale. So we're here to commit to after sales service. We believe their success is our success. So when we support them all the way during their operations uh, by providing them mobile service, providing them preventive maintenance, or any need that they have to keep their operations running at an optimal level. So Isuzu Manila will be there to help them. So we have a team of uh, experienced technicians who will always be on standby. And we'll also monitor their uh, maintenance progress as well. The critical support is the parts availability. And Isuzu has a national parts program that is uh, that can be maximized by, the, by Pasang Masla and all its members. And this will be a great benefit for them because anywhere they go in the Philippines, the uh, parts will be made available by Isuzu Philippines. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer.
Welcome back to All of Focus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile malls belong to the same category on Head to Head. This Head to Head takes a detailed look into what the two 4x4 pickups, the next-gen Ford Ranger Wildtrak, and the Isuzu D-MAX LSE can offer to buyers. Ford Philippines rolled out the next-gen Ranger late last year, touting it as the smartest, most versatile, capable Ranger ever. At the higher end of the next-gen Ranger spectrum is the Wildtrak 4x4. Is it smart, versatile, and capable enough to go against the likes of the Isuzu D-MAX LSE 4x4? Let's subject these two 4x4 top-end pickups and expect the spec compare. The next-gen Rangers, 5,370mm long, 1,918mm wide, and 1,884mm tall, with a 3,270mm long wheelbase, front and rear track with a 1,620mm and a 235mm minimum ground clearance. The Isuzu D-MAX LSE 4x4 is 5,277mm long, 1,880mm wide and 1,810mm tall, with a 3,125mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 240mm. The next-gen Wildtrak 4x4 features the new distinctive grille and bumper design with C-clamp matrix LED headlamps and adaptive front lighting system. Also comes with daytime running lights, auto on off headlight with follow me home function, LED fog lamps, high mounted stop lamps, puddle lamps, rain sensing wipers, side view mirrors that power just in full, and 18 inch alloy rims strapped by 25565 R18 tires. Practical features include bed liner, rear box steps, side steps, easy left tailgate, dual front tow hooks, mud flaps, a sport bar, and roof rail. The next gen Ranger also arrived with a bigger cargo bed box at 1,564mm long, 1,584 mm wide, and 540mm tall. The Isuzu D-MAX LSE comes with a thicker cladding, front bumper guard, roof rails, and 18-inch matte dark gray alloy wheel strap by 26560 R18 all-terrain tires. The D-MAX LSE also features bi-LED projector type headlamps with automatic leveling and auto on-off function. LED daytime running lights, double LED rear combination lamps with light guide, and front and rear fog lamps. Other exterior features include side view mirrors with integrated current lights that power just in fold, rain sensing wipers, and step board. Interior comfort and convenience in the Wildtrak 4x4 with smart keyless entry with push button start system. The Wildtrak cabin features premium soft touch materials and an exclusive leather and leather upholstery for seat and trip. The driver's seat powers just 8 ways, the front passenger seat manually adjusts 4 ways, the rear bench seat for 3 features a fold down to armrest. The Ranger Wildtrak comes with an 8 inch digital instrument cluster, a platform for a wireless charger, dual USB Type C and 8 ports, clever storage spaces that include door pockets, upper glove box on the top of the dash, storage bins under and behind the rear seats. Other standard interior features include dual zone air conditioning system with automatic temperature control, power windows, auto dimming rear view mirrors, auxiliary 12 volt power outlets, 230 volt inverter in the second row of the cabin and in the cargo area. The D-MAX LSE comes standard with remote car lock and remote start and jet functions. The cabin features leather of covered seats with a driver's seat capable of adjusting 8 ways. The second row seat for a 3 splits and fold 60-40. The leather wraps steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features switches for audio, phone and voice controls, driver assist systems and multi-information display. Other comfort and convenience features include electronic power steering, dual zone climate control with vents on the rear console, instrument cluster at 4.2 inch electroluminescent multi information display, and 12 volt accessory outlet. For onboard infotainment, the Wildtrak is equipped with a 12 inch color touchscreen with Ford Sync at 4A system compatible with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, plus voice command and six speakers. The Isuzu D Max infotainment system uses 10.4 inch touchscreen, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary import, and eight speakers. A 2-liter bi-turbo diesel engine made with a 10-speed automatic transmission capable of maxing out at 200 PS and 500 Nm of torque power to file track 4x4. Aside from standard 4x4 modes, the Wild Track also features drive modes optimized for various surfaces, road conditions, usage or mood, normal, eco, tow haul, slippery, mud ruts, and sand. The suspension system features double wishbone with coil spring and agile roll bar in front, and leaf springs in the rear. Stopping power comes from ventilated discs on all four wheels. The D-MAX LSE is powered by a 2,000cc 4-cylinder turbocharged and intercooled diesel engine that generates 150 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque. The LSE comes with a 4x4 drive 6-speed automatic transmission with sequential shift transfer control switch and aluminum rear drive shaft. 
The suspension system uses double wishbones at coil spring and high-mounted upper control arm and stabilizer in front and long-span semi-elliptical soft ride leaf spring in the rear. The brake system features the ventilated disc and rear auto-adjust drums. The Wildtrak 4x4 comes with a terrain management system and a complement of advanced driver assist technologies. This suite of smart driver assist technologies including, among other things, adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering, lane keeping assist with road edge detection, autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, lane keeping aid and lane departure warning, pre-collision assist with intersection, dynamic brake support, driver alert system, evasive steer assist, and auto high beam. The Wildtrak also comes with a 360-degree camera that provides multiple views of the large center display, 360 birds eye view and 180-degree front and rear split views. Also for safety, the Wildtrak comes with hill launch assist and rollover mitigation, hill descent control, 7 airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability control with traction control system, and electric brake booster. Isuzu fitted the D-Max with its Advanced Driver Assist Systems or ADAS. This is a suite of driver assist technologies that include forward collision warning, autonomous emergency brake, adaptive cruise control with manual speed limiter, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and parking aid sensors with 4i rear view camera. Also added for safety are 7 SRS airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, hill start assist, and hill descent control. For some time now, pickup trucks attain the status of lifestyle vehicles. They are no longer just utility vehicles. This is especially true with both the Next Gen Ranger Wildtrak 4x4 and the D-Max LSE 4x4. Asahan kailangan na matibay Pang matagalan kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo Modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo Nang tatak na ito Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up mo niyong negosyo Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up with Isuzu Trap is Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Life comes at you fast. If you're brave enough, drive right back at it. Brave the big city or the great outdoors. Brave the carpool or the extra cargo. Brave the unexpected with Honda Sensing. Brave the long road with fuel efficiency to reach your destination. The all-new Honda BRV. Brave the next level. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Great Wall Motor is making its presence felt in the local market this year. First through special previews with media and local partners, and then with the public launch at the Manila International Auto Show. Great Wall Motor CWM is one of the most successful auto companies in China. In the past seven years, we always keep our sales record you know, with uh, annual sales performance over 1 million vehicles in China market. Besides that, I mean, uh, GWM is also becoming a real global auto OEM in the world. Actually, we have delivered in total more than 12 million vehicles globally in more than 170 countries and regions. So GWM today is becoming a real global, you know, intelligence technology company.
at Genie GWM, we want to focus more on the energy transition uh, facing to the future to welcome the you know, shape of this industry and the energy. So besides the vehicles, we also have a really uh, long-term investment in the energy. For example, we have a full business chain from the HEV, PHEV, EV, and even the hybrid uh, hydrogen energies. So actually our hydrogen you know, driving vehicles already come to the commercial operation since last year. So already, if you are in China nowadays, you can see many cities you know, running with our hydrogen vehicles. So GWM, our aiming is to become new solution, new energy solution provider, not just the auto OEM. Philippine market is very important to us. Since uh, day one of GWM in ASEAN market, we're aiming to become a real, you know, auto OEM can cover, you know, the various markets here. So, you know, after, you know, Malaysia, Thailand, so we think, you know, Philippines should be the third, third you know, station top for us. This is actually, you know, also based on the very good relationship with our partner here, National Reef. We value the partnership, we think they are very, you know, Incredible and uh, very perspective in terms of the future. So we believe that with a partnership, a luxury relationship, we can do. Yeah, I, I I do think you know the, the future here is going to be very perspective. We actually started studying the models about a year back. We started finalizing our lineup maybe late last year. That culminated in a signing event which we had on October 26th of 2022. We became the distributor of um, EWM models in the Philippines. I think it was um, a mutual desire to work together. Uh, we believe in uh, the new GWM models and the lineup that's coming in the next few months is just as interesting as the ones we've been uh, putting out. I find that their product is very, very competitive. They really fill not only the need, but we give our customers um, a lot of what they want. Driver assist systems, really advanced technology. We decided also to go heavily into hybrids and other forms of electrified vehicles. Um, that's going to be a key point of the strategy. Why? Um, well, to care for the planet and um, to um, really also, it's a very practical thing, right? People like to save on fuel and we give them the best of both worlds. And um, I believe that the way we price our models is really strategic. The entry cost is not really that high anymore compared to other hybrids. I call it reducing the cost to care. everyone first of all if you can't wait to see the cars anymore um, visit our Facebook page uh, so we have details there we also have a website gwm.com.ph if you want to see them in the flesh our first dealership is up UN Avenue GWM UN Avenue is now open on soft opening um, we are able to display the models there for you and entertain any inquiries that you might have It is looking like Great Wall Motors' return to the country with the luxuriant automotive group will be more successful than its first foray. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. 
we go for style. We go for fun. We go for the Toyota WeGo. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fix Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Ready? Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. This edition of Car Review takes a look at the Jeep Gladiator, an American brand premium pickup. So you like off-road adventures? Take your trail bike to where they can be most fun and challenging, or you can enjoy mountain biking more, hiking, going where others fear to tread. Maybe camping is more your jam for long weekends, even glamping. Or if you're truly the adventurer, you go overlanding. All these activities need a vehicle that would have all the carrying capacity, all three capability, toughness, reliability, the conveniences of modern living, and in this day and age, smart connectivity. So perhaps a pickup truck will do, and not just any pickup truck, but the Jeep Gladiator. Jeep has been around for decades now with a design that has achieved iconic status. One would recognize Jeeps anywhere. The design has virtually remained the same over the years. The vertical grille, the round headlamps, the protruding front bumper, the extended fender, and the flat roof. There's no mistaking that the Gladiator is a Jeep with an extended pickup cargo bed. The Jeep Gladiator manifests the wide stance and tall profile of a very capable off-road 4x4 vehicle. It sits high above the ground on 17-inch aluminum wheel strapped by 245-75 R17 BSW all-terrain dualer tires. The Gladiator Rubicon presents a rugged minimalist exterior with body color 3-piece hardtop, fender flares and grill with platinum silver rings black door handles and exterior mirrors with supplemental turn signals and spotter mirrors to check blind spots. The exterior mirrors are heated by the way. And the hardtop can be removed if one wants to feel the wind on your face on road trips. The rear sliding window features a defroster. The side steps help with getting onto the pickup with high ground clearance. The Gladiator features LED lighting for the headlamps, front fog lamps, and daytime running lights. The Power Dome Dual Vented Hood adds a sporty but very functional touch. The rear of the Gladiator also projects a minimalist but functional look. The center high-mounted stop lamp complements the LED rear lamps for added safety. The rear lamps look quite cool and modern in again a minimalist way. The cargo bed is spacious and can accommodate everything from bikes, surfboards, gear and equipment for enjoying the outdoors. The cargo bed features Mopar spray and bed liner and cargo tie-down hooks clearly showing that it is meant for off-road trails. The Jeep Gladiator comes with skid plates and shields for the fuel tank, the transmission, and the transfer case. The overland and trail-rated badges are just not ornaments. The Gladiator is powerful enough with a 3.6-liter V6 gasoline engine that generates 285 horsepower and 352 Nm of torque, made it to an 8-speed automatic transmission 
and the 2.72 Select Track Full Time 4 Wheel Drive Systems. On Full Time Mode, the Select Track automatically switches from 2 Wheel Drive to 4 Wheel Drive depending on the driving conditions. It delivers consistent, effective traction when 4 Wheel Drive is needed to effortlessly conquer mud, rocks, ice, or snow, and then reverts to 2 Wheel Drive on clear roads, delivering impressive fuel efficiency. Add to this the Stop Start Dual Battery System that also helps save fuel at stoplights and in heavy stop and go traffic conditions. The Gladiator Ride and Handling can be described as plush and comfortable even with the heavy duty front and rear shock absorbers. This is great not only in off road trails but also on paved surfaces. This makes the Jeep Gladiator a good weekday ride in urban settings especially as it comes with an all-comfort and convenient features that the successful and discriminating individuals expect in high-end rides. There's remote keyless entry with push-button start that gets one into the posh cabin with the leather trim seats. Wrapped in leather are the park brake lever, shift knob, and steering wheel controls which comes mounted with audio controls. The low back bucket seats are quite comfortable for long road trips. Six-way manual seat adjust as well as two-way lumbar adjust for the driver, four-way seat adjust for a front passenger. The rear seat for 3 folds 60-40 and features a rear armrest with cup holder. The steering column tilts on telescopes to get the preferred driving position. The Jeep Gladiator comes with a 7-inch TFT color display for the instrument cluster. There's also a display for the tire pressure monitoring system. Then there's the 8.4-inch touchscreen display with 4.5 system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, GPS, and integrated to Alpine premium audio systems. There's an audio jack input for mobile devices, a USB host flip, and 12 volt auxiliary power outlet. Other standard comfort and convenience features include air conditioning with auto, temp control, and power windows. The Jeep Gladiator Rubicon supports circuit discerning owners with loads of tech to make driving safer. Parking a pickup truck is never more easier with a ParkSense rear park assist system and ParkView rear backup camera. Mitigating driver mistakes and miscalculations are the anti-lock four-wheel disc brake system, electronic stability control, traction control, electronic roll mitigation, hydraulic assist brake booster, hill start assist, and trailer sway damping. Also fitted for safety in the Gladiator are next-generation front airbags, supplemented front seat side airbags, speed control, speed-sensitive power locks, and Sentry Key Theft Deterrent System. There is a lot to like and enjoy in the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon for those who are into outdoor and off-road adventures and with truly active lifestyles. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney and today we're going to talk about turbos and boost controllers. Chances are when you buy a diesel car nowadays, it has a turbocharger. It's not exclusive anymore to high-performance cars like Subarus or Evos or racing cars. Almost every turbo diesel on sale now from any manufacturer has one of these things. And that's why they're great and they do make a lot of power and a lot of torque. Now this turbocharger sucks in air here, pumps it, air goes out here. And this air has pressure in it. The same way that in your mom's pressure cooker, when you reach a certain pressure, the whistle sounds. In the turbocharger, there's a similar mechanism that tells you that, or actually tells the engine that, okay, pressure is right, let's set it at that and don't go any higher. It's this thing, this is called a wastegate. Inside here is a diaphragm that goes forward and backward. What it does is connects to this lever, which opens and closes this flap. Once the pressure goes here, it's correct, it will push this lever out and this flap will open, bleeding off some of the exhaust gases. Now, there's a way to increase the boost, which is using a boost controller. And it's this little thing. Basically what this is, this is a valve. Air goes here, air goes out there. This little knob restricts how much pressure it goes in here. So if you blow here, you twist it, 
only little air comes out here or a lot of air comes out here, delaying the signal to open and close the wastegate. And this thing simply just installs in between pressure side here and the wastegate. So the simplest is this goes here, this goes here. That goes there. That's the simplest way to go about it. Or the other way that they recommend is to a little bit more complicated but can do a little bit more precise is this way. In a nutshell, this is how it's connected. So how this works is this. There's pressure inside this line that goes to the wastegate. What we're doing here is we're bleeding some of the pressure off here. So let's say this one comes out at 14 PSI. But since you're letting out some of the pressure here, pressure that goes here is less, maybe 12. So here you're bleeding one, two, three, maybe four PSI. By adjusting this knob here, there's a plus and a minus here. The plus and minus here don't mean anything. It does not mean one click is one PSI, two click is two PSI, no. Every car is different, every turbocharger behaves differently. So the only way for you to properly adjust this is if you have a working and accurate boost gauge as installed in your car, or you have it brought to a dyno. So you can see if the adjustments that you're making are making power indeed, and if it's enough, because this one here will now connect to the boost sensor of the dyno itself. Now when you open your engine, most people can identify some of the basic parts, like this is the air filter, this is where you put in the oil, that's the battery, but that's pretty much it. And for turbo diesel cars, but like on this Montero where we're going to install the boost controller, this is your turbo down here. That's the turbocharger right there. This is the compressor side. That's the turbine side or the exhaust. The wastegate is actually down here, this rod here. That's where the wastegate is. That's what controls how much boost pressure is enough and then it opens the flap. So all the air the car gets comes from here, the air box. Then once it goes in, it gets burned. Exhaust gas goes out here. And this is where we're going to install the boost controller. <laughs> so this is the boost controller installed. It's just this little thing. Then later on, once we're finished setting it, we're going to secure it here somewhere with a zip tie. And then here, this is a lock nut. We will tighten this so no Makulit car wash boys going to make me hit this when they do a car wash because if they do, it'll mess up your boost settings. So here, there's a plus and a minus. We start here by making the knob all the way to the minus. So this is basically stock boost. Then we'll slowly rotate it to the plus side while watching on the dyno how much boost we actually get. Now as you can see, we have the boost controller on one side. Then we have this thing connected to the dyno. This is where the ECU reads boost. This is in the manifold and it goes to this sensor. This thing's called a manifold absolute pressure sensor. This converts pressure into voltage that the ECU can understand. And this is what also it references, let's say, okay, at two volts, it's this much pressure. At three volts, it's this much pressure. Therefore, we give this much fuel and that much fuel. And that's how it works. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's all the focus this week. We hope you have found this episode of your Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.